I really didn't plan on the wind being out here this morning, but we're gonna manually vacuum it. I got my bucket, manual vacuum. And then I also, of course, have to use the port. And then I use this little bit of a, the blocker. I cut a little hole in it just so it's got a little bit of, a little bit less suction, a little bit, you know, I don't want to overdo the pump by having just everything going through this. Because this, has a fine mesh screen in it, okay? Which I'm just dumping out on the ground right now. And we're gonna be getting a lot of mud and stuff out of there today, because I got that one pile of mud I've had in the center. Well, it's still there, and I could take it out in two or three loads with an automatic vacuum, but I wanted to show you how this works. This is actually a really good vacuum. It's a lot faster than the automatic vacuum because you just go right to the spot where the mud is and pull it out and you're done in five minutes where in the automatic vacuum you have to let it sit you know in the water and go back and forth until it actually goes over the spot so when the pool is clean I'll use the automatic vacuum and that's one thing you know the, the pool as you're seeing it right now I'm telling you man I let my pool get dirty for this video and I mean I've never done that I've always had a completely blue pool all the time so it's like <laughs> it's funny that I actually let it get dirty but anyway, yeah, and you got to have the bucket to clean out the, the screen in this when you're, when you're vacuuming. So once again, that bucket is a major part of my system. And today we got three different cameras. We got Odrum, O-D-R-V-M, maybe it's a U-M. So I got that camera today. I got my extra backup camera here to show the mud coming out of the pipe that I'll be using. And let's get to it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is shut off the pump. And I'm going to unplug my salt system because I don't need it on at all. I already have it shut off. I had it shut off earlier because I've been running on full pump, so it just ran last night. Then what I'm going to do is turn this right now to closed because I want to set everything up right. And then what I'm going to do is turn it back one over to waste. And we're going to use the waste setting today. And what the waste setting is actually for is to lower the water level in your pool fast if you've overfilled your pool. But I don't want this mud going back into the pool. I don't want it going through the filter. So I don't need to backwash the filter because it can be going through the pump and being pumped right outside. Okay, so I'm getting rid of all the mud that's in there, you know, that little pile. Um, quickly, easily, and I'm not putting it into my filter so it's not going to clog the filter. But I will still backwash the filter before I turn it back on because, you know, that's just how I do it. Okay, next I'm hooking up my vacuum port. Then I'm gonna put my plug in. So I get all the pressure, or you know, whatever that would be. 70% of the pressure, 80% of the pressure, all going through that one and going through the vacuum. What I wanna do is make sure this is full of water. So, I mean, generally I just put it under. All the bubbles come out, but just to make sure this time, I'll open this up just so you can see. There's no air left in there, okay, because you don't want air in there. And then, I'm just going to put this on. And what I'm going to do is, you've seen videos where they actually take the hose and put it over on the, uh, the outlet where it's blowing the water and air out to fill the hose, but there's just really no need. So I'm just going to go ahead and watch the level of the water go in there. You want the hose completely full of water and no air, which is just like this, really simple. camera underwater and then that's it there's no more air left in here I can double check it get any little air bubbles and connect it on it's ready to go now I'm going to turn my pump back to waste and turn it on do is start lowering the level of the pool 
and back me at the same time. So I want to get in there and get her done. Put my mask and snorkel on, make it easy, so I can see everything on the bottom. And you guys are lucky. For you guys, I wear clothes. Or at least a swimming suit. But I got my shorts on. Hey, you know what? That works good enough. All right. And the dirty stuff's going to come out this pipe and go on out. I've never filmed this part before, so to me this is a first, as it is for you guys. Because I've always been into pool vacuuming. I want my bucket where I can get to it, okay? This is what I would normally do. This way, I can just take the vacuum, pull the top part off, it's still vacuuming, so you don't want to let it get close to the, uh, and lose your suction. Boy, that thing's really packed, it's packed up fast. I'm we'll taking this full bag, and just turning it upside down, rinsing it out. That's good. As long as I'm not taking it up too far, it's not gonna suck enough water, enough air in there kind of filming today so things aren't going 100 percent that's all right it sucks itself right to my hand real good just wanted to show you that Really good, and that's it. All done. Just gonna do the same thing, but this time, so I'm all done. Everything goes back into the bucket. You know what? I just had a good idea, but a little late for it. I should just go ahead and take these 
put them in here, and just put the screen on back on top of them to where it's not going to bother them, and I keep everything all together. Put this one in. Did you know that? Fill this with water. Pull the handle back. You got a water sprayer to screw with your kids with. They'll never see it coming. Like, well, you dad, you're just out there trying to work. Next thing you know, pfft, give them the full blast, baby. And I go back over here. Turn off the pump. Go from waste to closed for right now. And we'll do some talking. So that wasn't bad. That's all there is to vacuuming the, the pool out. When you do it that way, the stuff doesn't go into your uh, filter. It just goes right out of the pool when I use when you use the waste system. And uh, I don't know if anybody else does it that way, but I like doing it that way just because I don't feel like clogging my filter, you know. And so I'm going to go ahead and backwash the filter, get the pump back running again, get everything going. And then because I've got them unplugged, or got the salt system unplugged, I'll be back out here at 4.30 tomorrow morning to go ahead and restart it so it'll run during the day. Because the pool's still not warm enough. It's like 86 degrees. It's still plenty warm. But it's not warm enough for me to convert it over to where the pump's running at night yet. Uh, give me a week, so hopefully it'll warm up and I can do that then. But that's it for this video. Thanks, guys.